A, you need to admit your brokenness. To admit that things are not working as they should. To admit things are wrong. To admit your sin. Secondly, B, you need to believe that Jesus Christ was God and was never ever less than God but he came into this world to live as though he was never more than a man and beginning as a baby he lived a life of a perfect human being and then offered himself as a perfect sacrifice to anyone who could as your substitute of mine to pay for our sin and being accepted on the cross as our substitute he died and God raised him from the dead that he might forgive us and free us and send his Holy Spirit to live within us. But it's not enough to believe. See, you need to commit your life to him. You need to say, Lord Jesus Christ, I'm going to give my life to you. And as I do so, I know that you by your Holy Spirit will give your life to me. And I'll live in fellowship with you. I'll live in union with you. And I'll walk a different road that is freeing and satisfying where I've found what I'm looking for. And as we close, I'm going to lead you in a prayer. And it'll be wonderful this Christmas time. If there are those of us here this morning and you've never come into a living relationship with Christ, that you pray these words with me and you'll never be the same again. I want to invite you to pray in your own heart these words. Lord Jesus, I realize that I'm separated from you. I feel that distance and that emptiness in my heart. I confess to you my need of you. I confess my sin. Please forgive me. Thank you for dying on the cross and satisfying the justice of God so that I could walk free, forgiven, made clean. And thank you, you rose again from the dead to give me your Holy Spirit. I ask that he comes to live in my life. Lord Jesus, I want to pray for any who prayed that this morning that you will, by the Holy Spirit, give them such a deep assurance. Not just you've heard their prayer, but that they are reconciled to you, that you'll pour out the love of God into their hearts by the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit will bear witness with their spirits and their children of God, that they'll know because you show them that this is true and real. And I pray you'll help them to walk that new road, which is a road that gives life to enjoy your presence in days to come I pray for them and commit them to you in Jesus name Amen